Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we're gonna tend for one of the sick orchids that I received. It's a Phalaenopsis orchid, and as you can see, she is not looking her best. It appears this orchid has a millibug infestation, she is also dehydrated, and I really don't see too many good roots in the pot. However, I think I see a few aerial roots, so from my point of view, she's totally savable. First of all, I wanna remove some of those mealybugs. I'm gonna use a cotton swab soaked in alcohol. And then I'm gonna go in the crown and in between the leaves and try to gather as much mealybugs as I can see. If you don't know how mealybugs look like, well, they're actually quite cute. They are white and kinda fuzzy, but trust me when I tell you they're deadly. They usually hide in the crown, in between the leaves, but also on the back of the leaves. If an orchid has a flower spike or flowers, they prefer to hide in the sheets and in the flowers. As predicted, this orchid doesn't really have too many roots. So let's get her out of the pot and check the root system thoroughly. I'm gonna try to remove as much of the old medium as possible. Preferably all of it. Mealybugs can sometimes hide in the medium. Also, this medium is really broken down, and it's full of decomposing matter coming from the dead roots as well. So most of the roots on my orchid are actually dead, but I have two aerial roots, and they will be the ones saving this orchid. Using a sterilized pair of pruners, I'm gonna cut away the dried flower spike. It will now rebloom again. Also, I'm gonna cut away the dead roots. Now, dead roots on a Phalaenopsis orchid will have no substance to them and will appear papery. Live roots, on the other hand, are stiff and full of substance, and when you wet them, they become green. Dead roots will not green up, and usually they will be brown or even black. I will repot this orchid in my medium of choice, which is inorganic, and also in a clay pot. I will place the stem on top of the medium. If I bury it, I risk the chance of rotting the axis. A good rule to follow is that all the leaves should be on top of the medium, and no leaf joint should be buried in the medium. In this case, I won't pin the orchid to the stake, because mealybugs can hide in the ties. As a final touch, I will spray the entire orchid with a solution of 50% water and 50% alcohol. A funny thing happens when alcohol touches mealybugs, they melt, so this solution might kill some of the mealybugs I missed, and then I'll just leave the orchid dry off in the breeze. In the next days, she will be quarantined on my terrace. If I see any more mealybugs, I'll just manually remove them. Also, I'll make sure that the aerial roots receive water every day. And after two days, already this orchid seems a little bit perkier. The bottom leaves will shed, but this is normal for Phalaenopsis orchids. They regenerate their leaves periodically. I think this orchid will do just fine, and by the looks of the dried flower spikes, she seems to be a prolific bloomer. I also suspect the blooms will be tiny, so I'm really curious to see how it blooms. I'll keep you guys up to date, and thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel, I post on a daily basis. Feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions you might have related to orchids. And if you ever want to send me a letter, just do so at the address you see on the screen and in the description below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchinature.com, where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining us, see you next time, bye!